Hi, my name is Charles Ablon and I'm the senior trainer at Canon Burbank. In this episode of Prep to Post, I want to show you how the XF705 has been designed to address the growing demands for online content by matching outstanding image quality with cutting edge data transfer. Specifically, in this video, we're going to walk through the setting up of this camera on a network. The XF705 has built-in data transfer capabilities with high speed rates of up to 16 megabits per second through the Ethernet port found on the rear of the camera. Combined with the efficiency of the XF HEVC codec, the camera is ready to connect to a network-based multicast production. Traditional video IP-based datagrams would require multiple devices that handle these packets of information that will go to monitor, graphics, and video mixers. Creating a single multicast stream simplifies this process by assigning the IP of the camera for each multicast outlet, such as online streaming, monitors, and video mixers. To set up the network, press the menu button and toggle to the right to the seventh icon called Network Settings. Toggle down to Connection Settings. The first thing you will notice is that there are four assignable connections that you can program for different purposes. These can be used for tablet and mobile control, as well as multicasting through the Ethernet. For our purposes, we will click and assign the first setting to Ethernet, then press Set, and on the next menu, you will see an option for manual or automatic IP assignment. If you already have a specific list of IP addresses, this is where you would input those numbers. But for our first connection, we will click on automatic. The next screen will show you all of the settings that you have selected. And if it all checks out, all you have to do is click on set OK. After the settings have been confirmed, the next screen will allow you to create a custom name for your network configuration. I will name this setting Cam A. Click OK to confirm, then save the network configuration. Next, toggle two options down on the network settings menu to IP streaming settings. Here, you can configure the frame rate, resolution, and data size of the camera. Your audio out channels are selectable in the next menu setting. You can toggle between two groups, channel one, channel two, and channel three and channel four. Next, you will set your destination IP address. Here, you will need to find out your router's IP address and input those numbers and click Set. Next, you will select your destination port, and for our purposes, we will leave it at 5000. Protocol is the last menu option. Here, you can choose between UDP, RTP, and RTP plus FEC. UDP stands for User Datagram Protocol. UDP prioritizes delivering the data in real time and ignores the reliability of the transmission in order to deliver the packets of data. If the signal is intermittent, the video or audio or both could break up. This protocol ignores checksum and does not verify the transmission of each packet. Just remember this option. Real-time transfer protocol, or RTP, is another method of transferring these data packets in real time. But it has the added benefit of having jitter compensation and detecting packet loss during delivery. Data loss and jitters are very common in IP multicasting, especially when the internet connection is slow or intermittent. In some cases, losing audio for a second is better than delaying transmission. In this case, RTP will prioritize transmitting the data in a timely manner rather than delaying transmission in order to confirm all data packets are delivered. RTP with forward error connection is used when transmission of the full data packet is critical. This is especially helpful in intermittent or low bandwidth connections over the internet. The camera will send a number of redundant packets that can then be decoded on the receiving end. The redundant packets will then be discarded once the transmission is confirmed. This ensures that every bit of information is received, with the caveat of having delayed transmission. Features like this make the camera a worthwhile long-term investment, ensuring the owner-operator many years of use. For more information about the Canon XF705, please visit us at usa.canon.com. My name is Charles Ablon. See you on the next From Prep to Post.